We're now going to take a look at binary and decimal integer representation within a system. So basically, we need to understand that mach machine code is the most fundamental programming language. The reason for this is that computer systems only can recognize values 0 and 1, which are used to represent electrical signal being either on or off. This is known as binary, where data is comprised of two states, 0 representing off and 1 representing on. Binary values are combined into larger bit packets in order to create larger data values. This leads to longer data strings of zeros and ones. Therefore, it is necessary to convert these binary values into decimal values, which are base 10 numbers that are easier for humans to understand. In being base 10, individual decimal digits have 10 characters, which range from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So all individual digits that stand alone and they combine together can make up larger numbers as well. In this specific course of software design development, we'll be focusing on 8-bit binary integers as the basis for our conversion. It is also important to recognize that uh, these bases are both binary and decimal values, which should accompany each individual value. So base 2 with the small 2 down the bottom is used for representing binary, and base 10 with a little 10 down the bottom is used to represent de uh, decimal. And this is used in order to alleviate conf uh, confusion, because basically numbers can look similar based on their combinations of 1 and 0. So let's have a look at basically how these can be converted quite simply. So when converted binary to decimal values, the use of base 2 is incorporated with the placement of the binary numbers equating to a specific value. The following table illustrates the base 2 in action. So here is the table, okay, and we'll just explain how this table works. Basically on the far right we have 2 to the power of 0, and that equals 1. Next to it we have 2 to the power of 1, which equals 2, to the power of 2, which equals 4, and so on this pattern goes, and basically there are 8 slots here to represent the 8 bits, right up to 2 to the power of 7, which equals 128. So using this table, the digit that appears on the far right, okay, would correspond with 2 to the power of 0. If this digit is 1, then 1 would be included as a part of the decimal value. If the value is 0, then 1 would not be included as part of the decimal number. The digit that is second from the right will then be calculated in the same method, aligning with 2 to the power of 1, which equals 2. A binary digit of 1 okay, will add 2 to the decimal value, uh, 0 will not add 2 to the total. This process would continue from right to left for all the individual binary digits. Due to the calculation, the highest possible value for 8-bit binary is 11111111111. Okay, which equates to 255 in decimal. So let's look at a just quick example here. We've got the binary number 11001101, and then the little 2 on the end to represent that it is a binary digit. We basically write that number directly underneath this table. So here it is, 11001101. And essentially what we do is everywhere that there's a 1, the number above gets added up. Okay, so we have a 100, 128, we have a 1 under 64, so they'll both be added together. We have a 1 under 8 and a 1 under 4. They too will be added into the equation and a 1 under 1. So we add up all these numbers where 1 appears and we get the decimal value of 205 and we know it's a decimal value because it's got a little 10 next to it there. Okay. Below is basically an example of binary values and their decimal equivalents, just so you can see, firstly, how they're similar and basically how we distinguish between the two. So, 1 in binary is exactly the same as 1 in decimal. They're both just 1, okay, but we've got to write the little 2 and the little 10. 2 in decimal is 1, 0 in binary and can look like the number 10, so that's why we've got to write the little 2 there. And basically because 2 is the second column from the right in the binary table, Okay, so that means it activates the 2, okay, and there are 0, 1s used. 3 is basically both 1 and 2 on the binary table being activated, so it's 1, 1, okay. And as you can start to see, there's a bit of a pattern now. So then we go to the next slot, which activates 4, but we're not using any of the numbers after that, okay. And then it's 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, and then 1, 1, 1 for 7. So I hope this gives you a bit of an understanding of binary and decimal integer representation within systems. Basically, decimal values are easier for us as humans to understand, but binary values are basically what machines understand. 
we need to have a conversion method to understand how these take place. I will develop another video following this one, going further into detail about how we convert binary digits into decimal digits and vice versa of decimal digits being converted into binary digits.